Hey guys, this has been the craziest week of our 10 year career here at TFL because not only did we make a million subscribers, so thank you very much on our main car channel, but get this, we bought not one, not two, but three trucks this week. In fact, I would say we found the holy grail of classics trucks uh, and it's parked behind our offices and I'm gonna show you that truck as well as the other two trucks that we purchased uh, in this video and kind of give you an update of what's going on. But let's start with kind of our favorite project and this has also been incredible, Baby Yoda. For those of you guys who aren't aware, over at TFL Classics, uh, we're building that classic Toyota pickup truck into the ultimate overlanding rig and we're doing it for charity. So we're building it up, you're kind of watching the journey as we build it up. And this week we've done the most amazing transformation in case this is some of you're doing. So why don't you kind of walk the folks around and tell them what you've done and what we've done and just show them how cool and badass that truck looks. Absolutely. As you can already tell, it's massively different from what it was the last time you saw it. And that's largely thanks to Shane at Innovation Installations who did this wrap for us. And it looks incredible. This is the classic Iron Man Ivan Stewart style of wrap. So we've got the old school Toyota racing colors, yellow, orange, and red. And then the whole back end of the truck goes to red, which is wicked cool. And it plays off of these relentless fabrication bumpers that we're installing right now. So the rear one is on and it's all installed. And right now I'm working on getting the front bumper installed as well as a worn winch. So this is gonna be a serious off-road rig. That on top of the whole camping rig that's in the back with the soft topper. This truck is so much different from when we first got it. It's hard to believe it's even the same vehicle. You know, I was a little on the fence when you guys proposed doing kind of this old school Toyota racing uh, look to it, but I think it just looks fantastic. Fantastic. It's completely transformed the truck. We also have a, a great lift from Toy Tech. So now we have the lift, uh, the bumper. It's a big job, so that's going to yeah. happen today. We've got the soft topper. I kind of regret getting the gray one. <laughs> I look at the wrap. I think it probably should have been black. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. Uh, and uh, dude, I'm not sure I want to sell this truck. I mean, we are going to sell it and we are going to give the yeah, money to charity, yeah. <laughs> but, but I'm really, really loving the look of it. Uh, you did a great job. So Thanks. thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, I think we're going to have to put some more money into it because the interior now lets it down, right? We've gone from kind of, I'll show you the interior. It's just basic. Yeah, the interior could be, uh, that could definitely be spruced up a little bit. I mean, it looks like somebody's, uh, you know, baby had a bit of an accident there. Uh, so I'm thinking maybe we take the seat out and we do it in black uh, and white stitching and then maybe have baby Yoda inscribed on the headrest uh, just to kind of have the interior match the exterior but you guys did a great job uh, this is really way cooler than i would have ever imagined absolutely all right come on with me guys i'm going to show you uh, two new trucks uh, that we just purchased and one of them like i said is uh, really the i'm going to call it the holy grail of classic off-roaders i can't believe we found it when it popped up on craigslist uh, we bought it immediately uh, really nice owners they uh bought it as a, as a project, a father and son. And then eventually uh, they thought, well, we're not working on this, so let's sell it. Uh, so I'm gonna have uh, Tommy give you a walk around first of the new Chevy Chey uh, Cheyenne, right? It's not a Silverado, it's a Cheyenne uh, that we bought. And this is part of our project that we're doing for TFO truck where we're buying a Chevy, a Ford and a Ram. Uh, and we're doing it uh, as part of this project called the Helen Back on 5,000. And the idea is we're gonna buy three trucks for $5,000, um, fix them up with our uh, partners at Real Truck, uh, and then of course, uh, drive them to Hell's Revenge, take them off road, run Hell's Revenge and see if we can get them back here. Uh, so that's what the Chevy's for. Uh, but the one that's really cool is that orange truck back there. I'll let you take it from here, Tommy. Sorry, I didn't know I was gonna be on camera. I think I forgot to comb my hair, as you will point out in the comments below, but, this is a 1998 K1500 Chevrolet. So back in the day, um, not every full-size truck was a Silverado. You had the C and the K series of truck. The C stood for rear wheel drive. The K stood for four wheel drive. And then you had 1500 and 2500 and 3500. So K means four wheel drive and then 1500. This is a half ton truck. We bought it for $3,200 which is pretty unbelievable. Clean title, no rust, 
Uh, kind of high mileage, which we'll talk about in a sec, but it's a lot of truck for three grand. Yeah, you know what we should do, Tommy? Uh, I think you and Andre should do a complete walk around of this truck uh, next, and let's publish that video over to TFL Classics. Okay. Uh, and uh, let's get to the one that I'm really excited about over no, there. No, hang on, we're not done with the old book. Well, do a walk. Just, I'm going to make you wait. The YouTube algorithm is encouraging me to make you wait for the orange one. But 206,000 miles on the 98. You can see, apart from the classic GM foam coming out. It's actually really, really clean. It's a one family owned truck from Wyoming. Yeah, 206,000 miles you can see, and pretty much everything works apart from that mirror, which looks like someone took a baseball bat to it. The radio is a little intermittent and apparently the AC doesn't work, but four wheel drive is good. This is the five liter V8 naturally aspirated, the 305, 230 horsepower. It does have this topper, which I think is kind of ugly. I just, uh, I don't know if we're gonna hold on to it, um, but you can see in the back here, original paint, super clean, Chevrolet badging along, along the side. Bed looks really nice. Anyway, so we'll have a full detailed description about this truck and all the stats and some of the cool, interesting things over at TFL Classics. But now we'll talk about the orange one, as our videographer Alex would say. Orange, orange. Alex. Orange. So this is a 1965 uh, Ford F100 four-wheel drive. And that's the holy grail, right? Finding an old 1960s truck is doable. I mean, they built a lot of them, uh, but finding it in four-wheel drive is really difficult we've been looking for one for a long time and when this popped up we just uh you know in a snowstorm went and bought it so uh 65 this would have been a fourth generation f-series truck i think it was 61 through 66 they built this generation one of my favorite in 65 they moved the turn signals up top here so you can kind of differentiate the 65 and 66 from the earlier ones but it's got these really cool long sweeping lines and the big deal like my dad mentioned it is a four-wheel drive truck now this is interesting so this bed for you Ford fanatics out there, you'll notice this bed is inconsistent with other fourth gen trucks, but apparently, get this, the uh, four wheel drive trucks needed more clearance, so they just ran the older beds even in 65 on these trucks. Now something interesting we did notice, uh, titled as an F100, labeled as an F100, but eight lug hubs. So I'm thinking that it's got axles out of a, probably like a 250, which is pretty cool. Now it is, you know, rough and ready, it's got its fair, share of dents and dings and you can see alex the front of the bed has rusted through but it's got such a cool patina and i love the interior it's got a you know a seat covering on it but it had vinyl seats vinyl floors monster steering wheel i'll show you the engine too uh this was uh no power steering no power brakes and then four wheel drum brakes as well so this was uh, a real man's truck if you will there dad hey, was it originally orange it was not originally orange. You can kind of see, I think it was probably this green originally, and I'll verify that on the VIN. Um, of course, it was pre-hood latch from inside the cab, but it does have a double latch to do both. All right, so this is a cool engine too. Uh, 1965 was the first year of the legendary 300 straight six. That's 4.9 liters of displacement. And that is what this engine is. Currently rebuilt in 2014, but super simple. And you got a little carburetor over there. The carburetor and the exhaust manifold are both on the same side, which is kind of funny. And it runs really pretty well. Single pot master cylinder. Oh, that's trouble. Yeah, that's gonna that's gonna go for sure. Um, but the cab corners are solid. The floors are solid. Uh, it's just it's 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 had a, a kind of an interesting life up on a ranch in North Dakota, a plain or Wyoming or something. But it's um, really neat. Yeah, why don't you tell them the story about the uh, way we got it home? Because it was quite an interesting day. We, we you know, these are so hard to find. The, the, the GM version of this Napco's, right? That were uh, the fifties trucks. The fifties, yeah. Those are crazy valuable, impossible to find. And the Ford and four wheel drive are also hard to find. But why don't you tell them the story about what happened? and how you got it home in a snowstorm because I was terrified for you. I mean, you know, you could not see the ins out of the inside of the truck. Right, well, it was uh, earlier this week in Thornton, Colorado, we bought this truck, which is about 40 minutes away. Of course, we bought it in rush hour traffic as well, but it was like the middle of a blizzard, <laughs> which is interesting enough. Luckily, it's four wheel drive. So lock the hubs, popped it in a four wheel drive. The tires are pretty shot, which is already kind of sketchy on a truck that weighs 8,000 pounds. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding, it's not 8,000 pounds, but it's a lot of American iron on worn out tires um and then the kicker was the uh defroster um i shouldn't say the defroster the heating the heater core started leaking underneath the dash and was causing 
um, like pillows of steam to come wafting out of the defrost vents. So it was 17 degrees outside, just wafting steam out of the defrost vents, middle of a snowstorm, the windshield had iced over. So I was trying to scrape out the windshield, drive us four speed manual, no power brakes, no power steering, 35 inch tires in the middle of rush hour traffic. In a snowstorm. In a snow, it was just crazy. Uh, but you can see the result of that is we did make it home <laughs> in, in one piece. Uh, I, I did have to change my underwear, certainly after that drive. Uh, it still runs nice. It did start to overheat by the time we got it back to the office. But the great news is a 300 straight six is pretty much, pretty much indestructible. Um, and it's just a, it's going to be a really cool truck. Got some stuff to fix like that heater core. I want to put dual circuit uh, brakes on it. Uh, I think it probably could use a clutch. Um, but apart from that, we're just going to enjoy it, put some tires on it, and do a bunch of really fun off-roading videos because that's what these trucks were built for. Take it up to the ranch, do some hauling, do some towing, and uh, <laughs> see what trucks were like 56 years ago. All right. Well, there you have it, guys. That is uh, two of the three trucks that we bought. If you want to see the third one, which is a Dodge, uh, that's over at TFL Classics right now. Uh, and if you want to learn more about uh, the old uh, Cheyenne, that's going to be over at uh, TFL Classics as well as soon as we get done filming it today. Uh, so let's watch Tommy drive away. See if you can make this thing uh, turn. By the way, uh, that obviously has a lift on it. He's showing off that big straight six. Um, but yeah, uh, it's been a really exciting week. We're still looking for a Ford. If you're in the Denver area uh, and you've got an old Ford that you want to sell us for, our budget is $5,000. It has to be, uh, let's say 2000 or younger. This one's a little bit older than that, but you know, give or take. Uh, it also has to be, of course, four wheel drive. We're looking to buy a Ford so we can do that series. Uh, and once again, thanks for checking out this fleet update. Thank you for getting us to a million subscribers and uh, have a great weekend. See you guys next time. Ciao.